<sighs> yep. Really is time to rebuild, isn't it? I mean, we missed the playoffs again, and even if we got there in the first place, Jones can't stop anything from getting into the net. And then on the other end, Kane's supposed to be our top scorer, and who knows what the heck's going on with him all of a sudden. And even outside of that, it doesn't seem like things are going well in the locker room. So, I mean, look, I don't want to rebuild, but it's better than just being mediocre year after year. Or apparently the front office has decided we're going for it again. I don't really know how they think we're going to do that based on what's been going on. I mean, I guess the Pacific Division is bad. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, okay, I guess we got Aiden Hill. I mean, he has been playing in Arizona, and who knows if he's ready to be a starter, but he can't be much worse than Jones. Oh, they took True. Okay. Would have been nice if they'd taken Jones, but I guess not everybody's gonna get a handout. Wow, Eklund fell to us at seven? Okay, I mean, the last couple of years have been rough, but I like the way things are starting to go for us. You know, for a team that says it's gonna contend this year and miss the playoffs by a pretty big margin last year, you'd think we would have done a little bit more in free agency. I mean, I guess not re-signing Jones is a good thing. And Seattle ended up with Donato anyway, but again, I don't think that makes a huge difference. Still, I'm not really sure where these extra wins are going to come from. I mean, it can't be as bad as last year, but is it really going to be that much better? Oh, great. What's Kane up to this time? Gambling on NHL games? That seems dumb even for him. What? And throwing Sharks games for betting purposes? There, there's no way he's that stupid. It's okay. Sure, it's gonna be fine. I mean, he's only our leading scorer from last year. I mean, I mean these allegations, there's, there's no way they're true. I'm sure this is just made up or exaggerated by his ex-wife or current wife or whatever she is. I mean, given what's been going on, I guess it's somewhat understandable that she would... You know what? Look, obviously it has not been an ideal last couple of months for Kane, and if these allegations about abuse or gambling are true, then... Yeah, that could end up being pretty bad, but as long as he can stay out of trouble, then we should be... Oh my goodness. A fake vaccine card? Really, dude? <sighs> I really did. I, I really did want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt, but apparently he actually is that stupid. Seriously, imagine losing $1.3 million trying to fake something that you could get for free and then trying to get across the border with it. How much are we paying this guy again? $7 million for the next four years. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Wait just a minute. Did, did we just start the season 4-0? Was the front office actually right about taking a chance on this team? Is this team actually this good? Okay, no, we're, we're not actually that good, but still better than I expected to start out the season. Okay, so apparently we're just putting Kane on waivers. Didn't really realize we could just do that, but... I mean, we've been winning games without him, so who really cares? Finally get that headache out of the way, and I mean, honestly, at this point in the season, all I really want from the rest of this year is no more Evander Kane news, which seems like it might be a lot to ask. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured this was going to happen eventually, just sliding back into mediocrity once again. I, I guess we still have a winning record, but it seems like this Pacific Division might actually be better than most people thought it was going to be, or at least most of it anyway. It's good to see with Seattle having the season they are that we're not just dealing with a, another Vegas 2.0. Plus, for the first time in what seems like forever, we haven't heard anything about Evander Kane in a while, so that's nice. Ooh, Timo Meyer! And I thought I hated the Kings. This man's got no mercy. Five goals in one game? Suck it, Kings. You can take those chrome helmets and shove them right where the sun won't be able to shine off of them. I mean, honestly, the only thing better than that five-goal game from Meyer is the fact that this Evander Kane saga is finally over. I mean, the team might not be winning that many more games anymore, but at least that headache's in the past. Wait, and now he could actually end up being Edmonton's problem to deal with? And they're gonna sign up for this? <laughs> I, okay, I didn't realize they were that desperate, but best of luck. Of course, the downside of Kane going to Edmonton is that he probably will actually end up putting up a whole bunch of points there. I mean, how could he not with Dreisaitl and McDavid? Plus, he's probably going to actually get to go to the playoffs while we're sitting at home. I mean, he'll be knocked out in the first round like they always are, but still. <sighs> I do miss the playoffs. 
I mean, I know it always ended in pain, but it sure beats mediocrity in, I mean, whatever else you want to call what we're going through now. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. And now it looks like Hurdle's probably going to end up getting traded at the deadline. I mean, at least we can probably get a good return for him, and he didn't want to be part of a rebuild anyway. Plus, with a good return, we could actually start this rebuild that we should have started in the offseason. So, even though it hurts to watch this old core disintegrate in front of our eyes, yeah, it probably is for the best. Could end up getting a pretty good return for Hurdle, and that's kind of exciting, right? Maybe a couple first-round picks, a good prospect or two, and then... Sure, we missed the playoffs a couple more years, but start to build this core again and start to make another run. It worked for Colorado. It could work for... Uh, or I guess we could extend him. Okay. I mean, he said he didn't want to be a part of a rebuild, so maybe this is a sign that there's actually a path forward. Who knows? It could be a team-friendly deal, and we could use that extra space to pick up some guys in free agency and start to be competitive next year. After all, we don't have to pay for Kane anymore. So yeah, as long as the contract's not too big, then... No, there's there's no way that's real. It's... Okay. $8 million for the next eight years. Great. Here we are again. Still have no idea whether or not this team is trying to rebuild or not, and to be perfectly honest, kind of seems like they're just pretending like they don't have to, and that is probably worse. <sighs> Why did I think this year was going to be different? Wait! Vegas missed the playoffs? Woo! Let's go! Best thing to happen all year! Suck it, Knights! I mean, sure, we may have missed the playoffs too, and our team might be mediocre with an uncertain future, but at least nobody expected us to make the playoffs, and certainly not expecting us to be the best team in the division. Not to mention the fact that we didn't embarrass ourselves twice by getting rid of players without letting them know over the course of the season. Ah, it's good to watch the Knights fail. No, Patrick Marlowe, thank you. Thank you, you absolute beauty, for giving this team everything you had for 21 seasons. I'm only sorry that we couldn't get you the cup that you so clearly, obviously deserved. Just know that when we do eventually win the cup, even if you aren't on the team, we'll still be thinking of you. Now go enjoy your retirement, you absolute legend. 